Welcome to Catholic Mom Mindset, a daily show where you learn to walk closely with the Holy Spirit so you can live the life God is calling you to. I'm your host, Sterling Jaquith. Let us begin. What other people are thinking, well, let's be honest, we can't really ever know what someone else is thinking, but we can do a much better job guessing than most of you are doing. Most of you, when someone says words to you, and you have a strong reaction, your feelings are hurt, you're feeling rejected, you feel ashamed, you feel called out, ignored, having a strong emotion, as soon as that happens, your brain kind of shuts down to the other person. You start thinking about you, and you likely have a fight or flight or freeze or fawn response. But you're not thinking very clearly. And... I want you to know that you can't be a mind reader, but you can be a much better mind guesser than you are when you're upset, when you are calm. So if you can get calm, if you can calm your nervous system down, if you can say, hey, I'm safe, I love you, we love this person, God lives with inside this person. If it's your husband, you can say, I love this guy, God picked him for me. If it's your kids, you can say, I love this kid. God's asking me to steward their little souls. If it's someone with a strong personality at religious education, you can be like, I honor this lady. God is within her. She wants the best for the kids, just like me. If you can calm your nervous system down while you are talking to someone by going into your mind and just saying these things until you actually feel calm, then I want you to wonder, what is that person thinking? We can hear what they're saying, but oftentimes people are thinking things completely different than what they're saying. So if you're with someone who seems really agitated, you can guess that they are scared of something. They're having a stress response, a fear response. So instead of engaging in their words, because they're probably out of their thinking mind, you can just be like, huh, this person seems pretty upset right now. That means they're probably having a stress response, which means they are afraid of something. What could this person be afraid of right now? When you do that, when you drop into curiosity and compassion, and this only works if you can get yourself calm first, but if you can do that, most of the time you can make a much better educated guess about what the other person is thinking. I served lunch today and one of the things had peanut butter in it. And one of my daughters said, I can, I can predict that Violet won't like this. And Violet took a bite and she said, no, it's not my favorite, which is what the kids say when they don't like something in our house. And Poppy said, yes, I was able to predict that. You can predict things, she says. And I said, yeah, You know that Violet does not like peanut butter, and you knew that there was peanut butter in that, so it was a pretty good educated guess that you predicted that she wasn't going to like it. And so while we really can't read people's minds, and we don't really know, we can make better guesses than we do most of the time. Because most of the time we're like, that person probably hates me. That's what your brain thinks. Your brain's just like, they're upset. They hate me. Our relationship is over. I'm doomed. But the truth is, they're probably just scared of something. And if you can get calm enough to to think about it, you might guess. And then you might be able to neutralize their fear. Just ups the chances of us having better relationships. And if you're brave enough and you have a, a good enough relationship, you could even say, hey, it seems like you're upset right now. What are you afraid of? Can I help you? We don't always have the kind of trust built up with someone that we can ask that directly. But the next time you're with someone who's having a strong experience, which will cause you to have a strong experience, see if you can get yourself to calm down and to drop into curiosity and compassion. Huh, this person seems really upset. I wonder what they're afraid of. That will help improve your relationships. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Catholic Mom Mindset. To learn more about growing closer to the Holy Spirit, check out our free resources at madeforgreatness.co. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day.